Hello. Uh, I've just got on the plot. I've been for my big medical today. With the testy for all sorts of stuff. And uh, you go on the treadmill and all of that carry on. And uh, I'm alright apparently. I'm fit. Which is a surprise to me. But there you go. Which is good, isn't it? Um, right, so we're going to prepare a bed today for next year. It's a six foot by four foot bed, or a two meter by whatever it is, 1.2 meters, uh, 120 centimeters, 1,200 millimeters. Not that precise, these beds, but it's the kind of sizes we're talking about. Uh, just going to do this one because I've just got down here, it's half past three now, uh, just got back from the hospital, so I've got some... Um, compost some lime and then a couple of other amendments that we're going to top off the beds with the bed we're looking at at the moment is uh it's about three inches down from the wooden surround to it uh, from the wooden section to the bed these are sectional beds they're not raised beds they're sectional beds as you'll see in a second the difference between a sectional bed and a raised bed is all about the depth or the height of the bed so if you've got a bed that's um say two feet high that's a raised bed if you've got a bed that's like six inches high or something like that then that's a section it's a section of the, of the plot a sectional bed to section off the plants that you're going to be growing in that particular area so there's the difference if people tell you that it's a, a raised bed they're not quite correct it's a sectional bed so this sectional bed that we're going to be doing now i'm going to show you right now and i'm going to show you what we're going to be we're going to be putting in the all right, so I'll see you shortly, boys and girls. So this is the sectional bed that we're going to be um, topping off and amending today. And this year, it had the um, pak choy in it, and other Chinese leaf. About three or four different varieties, uh, metsuma. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And uh, different sorts of Chinese and Oriental leaves, Japanese leaves in it. Um, so as you can see, I've weeded it. Uh, I'm going to take that cabbage. Oh, I had two cabbages in there. Three cabbages in there as well. And they were nice round head cabbages that we had in there on that side of it. But what we did find that, as you will find with allotment plots, is you'll um, experience club root. Or oh, there's a good chance you'll experience a disease called club root, which is a brassica disease. So it affects the brassica family. I'll uh, put some pictures up of brassicas right now. So there's all your brassicas. Oh, there's a good selection of brassicas there. Um, different types of cabbage, the reds, the savoy. That's a savoy. That's a round head, cauliflowers, different types of broccoli, Romanesco, Chinese cabbage, um, sprouts. Um, you've got all your sort of a kale family of vegetables, and they're all um, very, very good for you. Those, if I, in fact, I'll show you on the uh, on the Paleo Foods one. So this is Paleo Food or PaleoLeap.com. They talk about the different types of brassicas. Um, and the health benefits of them, the high in vitamin C, very high in vitamin C. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. There's your broccoli, your cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, turnips and turnip greens, collards, kale, bok choy and pak choy, same sort of thing, or the less familiar. Um, so yeah, uh, folate, vitamin B9, vitamin C, vitamin K1, etc, etc. And that's on the, uh, if you want to learn more about that, that's on the paleoleap.com website. That's where I found that. All right, back to the plot. As soon as I start filming, they're doing a loft conversion up there. 
so sorry about the background noise but uh, there's nothing we can do about that today but yeah so the brassica family that was those here's a, an example of club root and i can show you on this next little section and you'll know what i'm talking about now there's an example of club root looks like um sun chokes or jerusalem artichokes doesn't it that you can see there um and it's when the um the disease is a fungus like microorganism that swims in the soil so it's like claggy soil damp soil um not well irrigated or sorry not irrigated not well drained soil um it's thriving in that you know those sorts of conditions so you need to make sure that the soil's loosened up and the drainage is um is improved and also it likes acidic soils or it likes to uh, thrive better like most fungus really it thrives better in acidic environments so you add lime to the soil and you aerate the soil loosen it up and it should assist in preventing the club root so we'll get back to the plots again you can have a look so we're going to aerate the soil and improve the drainage oh my god you're gonna to have to put up with that bloody saw sorry about that um with this stuff which is vermiculite now vermiculite we got from um it was one of the sort of like cheapy cheapy pound shoppy type places but it wasn't that cheapy cheapy it was that 349 and between the two bags that i've got left there uh, i'm gonna add that into the soil mix on the uh, section bed and hopefully that'll improve the drainage and this other stuff that we're going to be using is called garden lime that's garden lime now that garden lime is going to be used also to um, assist in the retardance of the virus or the bug or whatever the bloody hell it is that swims in that soil um, and contaminates our roots and hopefully it'll keep it at bay the two methods will keep it at bay or at least keep it to a level where it's not going to be too destructive to um to our growth next year of our brassicas so that's it um for the club route we're also going to add in a couple of bags of this one or two bags of this stuff just multi-purpose compost it's 75 litres and you'd be surprised because 75 litres doesn't go a hell of a long way but two of those should top off the three inches in that bed hopefully and then we're going to add in some more farm manure, farmyard manure which is the grow show farmyard manure as you can see there and um yeah so that should that should do us really that should that should be fine for the top off so we'll do it step by step shall i all right so to assure we get a good even mix of the components of the uh, compost that we're going to be adding i'm going to be using this to mix it in and um so there's your wheelbarrow i'm going to mix into that all the uh, components that we've just been speaking of and i'll show you that once it's done okay so there's a half bag of the vermiculite going to be going into there a full bag of the um uh pole green compost going to be going into that and probably about a quarter of a bag of the farmyard manure mixed in with a good probably two kilograms of um well probably a good kilogram in each barrel mix of the lime okay So there's your pole green um, multi-purpose compost and as you can see it's a lovely fine tilled it's nice stuff that ideal for starting your plants off in if you want to do your um your plant starts but also because i'm going to mix in the farmyard manure that'll rip that'll give it more richness and then the lime's going to go in there and the vermiculite i'm going to get my hands into that There's a kilo of the garden lime in that measuring jug that's going to be going in there right now. So the lime's in and the vermiculite's in and it's had a really good rummage through so it's all mixed up nicely. The last thing I'm going to put in there now is some of the farmyard manure that you can see there. Rich in organic matter and it is, it's good stuff. 
and it's going to be about a quarter of a bag of that so uh, it's probably going to be what about 12 litres of that and there it is topped off um, spaded it in lightly raked it over and it's ready that now for next year not much else you need to do with that really you can cover it if you want to you can put weed membrane over the top or cardboard over the top of it if you want to but uh, I'm just going to put the, the netting back over and uh, and leave that any little clods that are left inside there should be broken down by the frost over over winter and it's ready that now for next year so yeah that's us done for today for well for with that one anyway uh, we've got three or four more to top off but i'm going to be doing exactly the same as i've just done in there and that's all really the lime is in there because of the club root issue so um you know most plants don't particularly care whether the uh whether the soil is of a of a, of a, of a higher ph a more alkali ph level so we should be all right with that okay so i'll catch you next time thanks for tuning in again all you new subscribers and old subscribers very much uh, appreciate your uh, your comments and your likes and uh, yeah if you're new to the channel or you're just jumping in on this channel please uh, if you do like what we do like it if you really like it subscribe to it and uh, we'll hope over the next few months we're going to be doing uh, about two uploads per week just through the winter season i'm going to be showing you on the weekend the uh, winter vegetables that we're, we're growing and uh, so that should be that should be nice for you and uh, you can emulate that if you like or come up with your own check out all the channels there's some great gardening channels out there and uh, you know who you are i'll put some links on the next video down below i'm going to be doing a couple of shout outs on the next video so yeah we'll catch you later i'll leave you with the uh, with the bed there's the new bed well, that's a new bed the topped bed and uh yeah take care everybody we'll catch you next time bye bye now